it's Pat and Jess. And today we're doing a little bit of soloing. It's going to be lots of fun, guys. So we're going to be soloing over the chord progression. Uh, a minor. Yep. G major, F major, and C major. So we're in the key of C major. So um, it's a six, five, four, one. Very good. Okay, fantastic. If none of that made sense, guys, head over to patdavidmusic.com. But otherwise, we're going to continue um, from the last video when you guys saw us jamming out. So if you haven't seen that video, link is in the below, and that'll show you how to play all the chords. So we're going to just assume that you guys know how to play the chords. If you're not sure, don't continue. Go back and check out the chords. We're going to be using the scales that we looked at uh, last time, the A minor pentatonic. And we're also going to be using the um, C major scale as well. So we're going to be doing those scales in two octave patterns. If you're not sure, I'm going to quickly flash up the tab, but if you want a full, you know, in-depth view, definitely go back and check out the other videos. All right, guys, so now that you know the scales, Jess is gonna play through the progression just once, and all I want you to do is use the A minor pentatonic scale, which will be below. Just use that one scale, okay, and see if you can solo over the entire progression and see how that sounds. Now, if you're not sure how to solo, or if this is maybe your first time, just give it a go, just, but less is more. Less is always more. Just try and hold the notes over the progression. Can you give me um, an A chord? An A minor, sorry. So you might find some A notes that work really well, some C notes, some E notes, because they're notes within the chords, but anything that you play. It's real bluesy. Very bluesy, the, the A minor pentatonic scale, because there's only one note difference between the pentatonic scale, the minor, and the blues scale. So it's really, really similar. So you might hear more of a bluesy vibe, but the point is just to take your time and just play those notes nice and slow, okay? And hear how they sound against the chord progression. Let's go through. Okay. One, two, three, four. So I was just going through the notes, but every time Jess chose a different chord, I played a different note, sounded really nice. That's how I would start this. So Jess, if you could just play, um, go through the progression. Uh, let, four times? Let's do it four times. Um, and guys, I, I'm just gonna play the chords as well. And you guys just play over that A minor pentatonic scale. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very nice, okay guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing again, but this time you're gonna use the C major scale. So the C major scale below. Um, again, can we just go through once and we'll show yeah. everyone what it sounds like? Yeah. One, two, three, four. So all that was is I was just playing notes, just going one after the other. It's doing a bit more interesting than sort of one note per chord, but just see how you go. Let's do it again. Guys, grab your guitars. Uh, this time over the chord progression again, four times, but using C major. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four.
All right, everyone, so now you've soloed using the A minor pentatonic, you've soloed using the C major scale. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play through the chord progression eight times. So by the end of the video, you'll be sick of it, but at least you've got so much time um, spent, you know, practicing your soloing. So maybe what you can do is I'll flush up the different scales at different points, but hopefully you've got them under your fingers now. And basically what I would do is I would just try and use both scales. Maybe start off one time through the progression using the A minor, maybe the next time come in on the C major, maybe the next time try and use both, try and combine the two if you can see where the notes are on your fretboard. Just give anything a go, nice and relaxed, and we'll, we'll play through the chord progression eight times. Okay, one, two, three, four. Very good guys, hope you had lots of fun. This was another lesson with Pat. And Jess. Hope you guys had a great time. If you do like these videos and want to see more, definitely leave us a comment below guys. So next time we'll be talking about, uh, we'll be talking about the wrong notes. And it's going to be a quick video on what happens if you play a wrong note and what to do. It's not the worst thing in the world, is it? Should be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. See you all again. Bye. Bye.